place um, are going to these shops that are designed to be dystopian nightmares. I was in a shopping mall even there yesterday and it's like arrows on the ground and arrows back that way and I don't pay attention to any of that, you know. And I, I think... <laughs> I think I must like the attention, to be honest with you, because people look at me, maybe I'm seeking it out. So I walk around there and, you know, and I stroll and I do it. And then if there's a security guard that comes up and, um, I wouldn't say it cost me, but comes over and asks me, what about the mask? As I said, I'm already on the move. I'm exempt. I don't slow down. Just like a bouncer on the door will say, for instance, I don't slow down and I'm exempt. And... Uh, I look in the man's eyes and, and I just tell him I'm exempt. And that's all you need to do. Again, I can't stress that point. I brought that up now a few times and this has to be. You cannot put on any mask. It stops now and really from today. So I want to see the evidence of this in my area. I want to see other people without masks on because to this point there isn't. I only see swivel-eyed monkeys with sweats on their brows and masks on their face and they're looking down at the next arrow. Where's the next arrow to tell me what to do? So I, I'm not I'm not someone that likes to be subjugated. Unfortunately, uh, a lot of people around in Ireland at the moment, but I think that's going to change.